Good day, folks. I'd like to talk to you more about the um, the one wire system, and I'm actually working on a, a better a tube setup with multiple um, conductor plates on it, so that I can uh, all have the individual one wire diode taps, so I could charge all these capacitors in in, in si not series, but at the same time. In another one of my videos, I demonstrated how if you charge multiple capacitors and you dump them you get much more output without stressing the magnetic field with the one wire system. But now the key lies in how do you trigger the mechanism using zero or very little current. I've got a switch that I was using with an LCD display that takes maybe 45 to 40 milliamps to operate. A 555 timer or similar could bring it down to maybe, you know, 15 milliamps, which is still a bit of energy. So here I am, you know, looking around how I could find a, a tying mechanism to trigger the um, cap dump. So let's say um, I've got 12 charging capacitors here and I want them all to dump, let's say, um, every five seconds one of the capacitors dump. But how do you do such precision with without integrating integrated circuits and a bunch of transistors and circuitry that ends up eating your input trigger current. So, you know, here I was looking at the time here. You might wonder why I'm holding the clock. So I'm going to get to that. And um, basically, as I was looking at the time, it occurred to me that the switch is right here in my hands, folks. I don't know if you caught on by now, but um, here's our near zero current switching for our cap dumps right here. All we have to do is use the actual switching of the clock mechanism, a tiny little magnetic strip glued on the needle, and a hall sensor at every five seconds glued on the back of the plate. These all trigger your individual capacitors and they're all timed with the clock. And of course, because we're just using tiny little bitsy pieces here, it's not really going to stress the input very much and a single battery will give you a trigger for months so um, I tried running basically ideas with um, <laughs> chat GPT when it's cooperative anyways if you know this would be a lot more efficient than actually using any kind of circuitry and with no doubt it would work very well so it's just a matter of setting it up and um, of course I don't have all the read switches and the hall sensors to do this but you know if someone absolutely wants to see this working <laughs> if they want to send me the parts I'll try and work on it find a good clock that I can even this one would work not bad but this is my clock I don't want to take it apart folks <laughs> but you know what I mean find a good clock that you can take the plate off and and glue a few Hall sensors around there without interfering with the needles, so a little, a thick clock kind of, and that'll do the trick. So, anyways, let me know what you think, and always looking forward to your comments, folks, and have yourselves a great day.